Well, yesterday we started the conversation of giving child athletes participation trophies and some parents and coaches have the A for effort mentality and say every kid gets an award for showing up and for trying, but others say it's actually hurting your children. Good Tommy, good, good, good. Jonathan Lavoie played college football. Now he coaches kindergarten football, a job he takes seriously. From my perspective, I think the most important thing I do out here is to build that love and, 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 and to build that, that piece where they feel like they accomplished something. And oftentimes that accomplishment can come in a tangible form, the participation trophy. You finish last, you come home with, with, with a trophy. You kidding me? But you know, all this stuff that's contaminated America where they give every kid a trophy and they don't keep scoring a little league anymore. You don't get trophies for participation. You get trophies for compete. There's a difference. The debate has become one of sport's hottest button issues. I just absolutely hate everybody gets a trophy program. I am more and more vitriolic every time I talk about it. Author Ashley Merriman has studied winning and losing for more than a decade and says participation trophies stifle some of sport's most important objectives. What does that teach them? That nothing is worth doing unless they actually get an award. Sports psychologist Jack Lessick agrees and says even the youngest athletes aren't fooled. Kids are smart enough to realize it has no value. If everybody's getting one for showing up, what is the value? This is kind of adult thinking. You kind of have to bribe these kids. But are those bribes actually dangerous? Merriman says science shows they could be a catalyst for long term issues. And we now actually have longitudinal data that kids in high school, kids in, in college are really struggling. They have higher rates of perfectionism. They have higher rates of depression because they don't know how to function and their expectations of success are so high. High expectations because she says kids aren't learning one of sports and life's most valuable lessons that it's okay to lose. So we have to start learning that losing is no big deal and it's how we come back from this. Go, go. For Lessig, it's not necessarily about the trophies, but more about the presentation. What message is conveyed with the trophy? You know, what, what is a presenter saying? So when you think of it like that, perhaps it's not the trophies that are the problem. Maybe we're just not doing them right. Get him, Danny, good job, Danny. Good job, Danny. Yeah, you know, with that, you know, they said giving each child a, an award is fine if, you know, you you excelled really well in this or, you know, you were always on time, you know, making sure that there's something attached to that. But definitely a hot button issue, as we learned very well in our the Facebook poll, where we asked you, should child athletes receive participation trophies? Yes or no? And we got nearly 800 votes. Wow. And here are the results from that poll. An overwhelming 91%, wow. 91, 92% there said no. Children should not get participation trophies or medals. Only 9% said yes, and we actually, we got more than 100 comments on Here, this too. Yeah, here's what some of you had to say. Jennifer said, life does not give you an award for showing up. These trophies cheapen hard work and lead to expectations of rewards when they are not earned. Stacy said, up until a certain age, I think they should. They should receive something for their hard work. Yeah, and Mary made a good point too. She commented, unless the teams are special needs, there's like the Special Olympics and all of that too, where everyone gets a, an award. And she says in those situations uh, that they would be uh, okay. And, and Kristen said, it makes the ones who work hard to get the trophy feel like they didn't have to work so hard if others get a trophy just for showing up. Also, Joseph said, no, giving a participation trophy fosters an entitlement mentality. Interesting point. And Susan commented, learning to deal with disappointment is vital to good mental health. So, you know, there are two sides of the coin to yeah. this debate. I mean, like they said in the package, talking about how, you know, it depends how you present it. Right. What, what goes with this trophy? Is it just, yeah, you participated or... You participated and had the most goals on our team, even you had, though we lost, you had some or contribution. Are you something guys like that. Surprised by that 91, 92 percent saying that no. It's pretty high. I mean, that's a pretty. That's not even like within playing field. I mean, that's that's a huge difference. Right. Yeah. And I think I it know. varies from what generation you grew up. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, I mean, millennials kid, versus. We, we didn't get the participation, but my kids did get that when they were a lot younger. Mm -hmm. The participation awards, but. I don't know. I think it's trophy enough of mom and dad are there watching them uh, play soccer or baseball or anything like that. They don't necessarily need that trophy. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I was yeah. awful at sports when I was a kid, and, <laughs> and 
like my dad was the coach, and I always got a trophy at Pizza Hut or wherever we had the little post, you know, season thing. And I was always confused. I'm like, I know I'm terrible. Why am I getting a trophy for this? So either way, obviously, our, our, our Facebook followers there uh, had a, a pretty clear clear answer there but uh, that poll is still up you can still comment and add your vote as well that poll ends in about the next hour or so so you can still sound off and join the conversation there